in a move designed to be more transparent with the public regarding investigations and cases in Memphis and Shelby County, the district attorney's office says it's entering a new chapter and into a new partnership. Alex, this is something that I've been talking about since the very beginning of the campaign. The idea of having a public facing dashboard on the website so that anybody could look up statistics and see how we're doing when it comes to racial disparities, when it comes to um, repeat offenders. The Shelby County DA's office is teaming up with a national reform group to put the spotlight on what's called data transparency. We want to measure the important metrics. We want to measure how we're doing with reducing the repeat offender rate. We want to measure how we're doing with reducing racial disparities. And we're going to put that out there so that the public can hold us accountable. The DA's office has entered a memorandum of understanding with a national reform group called Justice Innovation Lab. According to his website, JIL was created by two prosecutors following the prosecution of a police officer in a South Carolina deadly traffic case in 2015. That case exposed problems in the local justice system. JIL will now be placed within the DA's office for 12 to 18 months to conduct a review process and other tasks. And we're going to put that out there so that the public can hold us accountable and incentivize us to do a better job. As for transparency and the possible release this week of more police video of Tyree Nichols, Mulroy says that will likely be a MPD decision but he supports the public seeing it. I think that's probably up to the, the police department and the city. Um, I'm just generally in favor of putting everything that we have out there so the public can see that we're being transparent. And regarding the online data dashboard, Mulroy tells me he hopes to have it up and running for the public to access a little bit later this year.